Look, we kind of match. Oh, do you Sorry. want to take this no, off? No, it's fun. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Heather. And I'm Holly. And we're the twin sisters that make up the Garden Boutique. We are personal stylists with Piffany, and we love our job. We, this video today, we're going to be talking about why we left LuLaRoe and joined Piffany. Um, so, we started with LuLaRoe in February of... 2017. 2017. About mid-February, Holly launched her business, and then I joined on with her on April 1st of the same year. About a month and a half later was when I officially slash legally joined forces with her, and we started doing it together. We sold LuLaRoe from February of 2017 until October of 2018, so about a year and a half. Yeah, and... Um since the beginning, I knew that I wanted to replace my full-time income um, and stay at home with my daughter and finish my master's. I just had so many things I wanted to do, um, and I always found an excuse not to do them because I was working full-time or we couldn't afford it and things like that. So when I heard about LuLaRoe, I was like, you mean I get to work from home? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> so I signed up for it. Um, I we both started this business working it while working full-time jobs we um, were both teachers and uh, we were able to build it into something that allowed both of us to quit our jobs and uh, work at full-time and basically work from home now so that's where we are now so yeah we almost we two started years later <laughs> Holly Holly officially quit teaching in June of 2017 and I officially quit teaching in June of 2018 so over about a year and a half, we were able to grow our business to make it to be where it was replacing both of our teacher incomes, which was really exciting for us. And it was Holly's goal all along. It was never my goal to quit my teaching job, but it just kind of came to be that we almost needed me to because of the growth of our business. And so in June of 2018 was when we were both officially full-time LuLaRoe retailers. And the summer of 2018 we had an amazing summer with LuLaRoe we had our three best months ever um I will say that our entire time with LuLaRoe we were cruise qualifying from our very first month until our very last month we cruise qualified and by the end of it we were like cruise qualifying pretty fast in a month and then doing more so as the month went on so we were very successful with LuLaRoe we were very happy with LuLaRoe um we <clears throat> honestly loved it but then as a, as a retailer you have options and things when were you're on your own business yeah you when you own your yeah. own business you, you have pick. options and so yeah. <laughs> things were just happening and people were kind of looking at other options and a fellow retailer that we know locally had left LuLaRoe for Epiphany and we had met her and worked a lot with her at, through LuLaRoe and so when she left for Epiphany um, it was just kind of starting to show up on our feed, uh, mine specifically, and I was kind of in love with the prints that she was showing. And so one day, um, I was with Holly, and I was like, hey, Holly, we're going to go over to this other retailer's house, and we're going to try on the clothes. And Holly was like, why? Why are we going to do that? <laughs> Holly was like, I don't want to go try on the clothes. I like what we're doing. Why would we do that? We're successful. We've had our best months ever why are we going to go try on these other clothes? And I was like, I just want to see how they fit me. I'm a plus size lady. It was important to me that they fit me because um, a lot of boutique type clothing doesn't. And so I was like, I, I just want to see our options. I just want to go over there and see it. And Holly's like, fine, I'll go with you. And on the way over there, I was actually like, Holly, you have to promise me that you'll try the clothes on because she was not interested at all. Um, and I was like, you have to promise to at least try them on. And she was like, fine. I'll, I'll at least try on <laughs> fine but she wasn't happy about it that sounds about right and so we got there and she had the thing with Tiffany is you don't carry inventory but she had a lot of pieces that were um from her personal closet and it kind of worked out for me and Holly because she's she's kind of the size directly in between me and Holly so Holly was able to try on a lot of stuff and it was just a little bit big on her and I was able to try on a lot of stuff and it was just a little too tight on me but I could kind of see like how it would fit if I was to get my true size and so we left and Holly actually um left with purchasing a few pieces from this other stylist not you though just me not me I didn't buy anything I was the one who wanted to go over there but she's the one who bought stuff and so on our way home we were pretty much like we loved those clothes they're really comfortable the fabrics are really soft mm -hmm. and amazing um 
and the prints are gorgeous and we spent a uh, we spent a while over there kind of asking her a lot of questions and we just loved the business model and i feel like all of a sudden it was almost out of nowhere we were just like we're gonna go to epiphany mm -hmm. and it was almost like we just knew that this was going to be our home and that it was calling to us so we both went home and talked to our husbands that night about the decision and we made the switch so in this video we kind of want to talk about what it was about Epiphany that made us just decide to leave a business that we were successful in and try something new so Holly what are some of your favorite things about Epiphany that made you want to what about Epiphany made you say okay Heather we could we can make this switch um I really think it was just trying on the clothes because I, I have to love what I sell and I really loved selling LuLaRoe I loved there were a lot of styles that I loved and um, I think I just had to really like the stuff and we tried on a lot of dresses and tops and things and I just really liked how I felt in them and like Heather said the fabrics are amazing um, there's there's so many that are so soft and stretchy I love the idea of not having to carry inventory in my house anymore um, and getting that space in my life back. Yeah, so the way, let's talk huge. about that. Let's talk about not carrying inventory. What's that like with Epiphany? So with LuLaRoe, we carried a lot of inventory. We are twin sisters, but we don't live together because we're both mm. married with families. And so we live separately. But we each had a room at our separate houses that was full of LuLaRoe. Mm -hmm. um, we carried a lot of inventory. And it was amazing for us to hear that with Epiphany, you didn't have to do that. It was just... Epiphany carries the inventory for you and you have the chance to purchase samples um, but you don't have to have a whole room for inventory so literally we decided we're going to make this switch and I think like within a week Holly had her guest room back because yeah. we had moved all of the inventory mm -hmm. to my house and Holly was like I have a guest room yeah. again yeah and so that was really so that was something really big for us that we didn't have to just have rooms mm -hmm. dedicated mm -hmm. to clothing so that was a really big pro for us when we made the switch. Um, another thing about Epiphany that I personally love is that I get to pick my prints and that what I'm wearing, my customers can also purchase. When I was selling LuLaRoe, I owned a lot of beautiful LuLaRoe pieces. I was kind of like a unicorn hunter in the sense that if I saw a print that I loved, I was going to find it in my size and I was going to buy it. And so I had a lot of beautiful pieces, but then it almost... It was really hard for me because then if I wore them in front of my customers, my customers would want them. And I would have to say, we're probably never going to get this piece again. And if we do, it may not be in your size. So, fingers crossed. And it just, it was kind of a bummer. And so, one of my favorite things about Epiphany is now when I wear a piece and our clients say, Heather, I love your outfit. I could say do you want me to invoice you for the same exact pieces? Mm -hmm. And it happens to us a lot. Yeah. We sell a little, I would say a huge chunk of our sales comes from people buying the exact same pieces that we're wearing. Yeah. And so that's one of my favorite parts about Epiphany. And when I knew that that was going to be a possibility, that was one reason that I was like, I think we need to make this move. Yeah. I also love how, like, when, so we're a limited release model, so that means instead of having, like, 30 or so styles that you just cycle through new prints and things, we are actually lim releasing 10 new styles every month, um, or recutting popular print, or popular styles from, from previous months, and I think that's really awesome because, um, like, on launch night, like, with LuLaRoe, when we find out okay a launch is happening tonight we have to make sure first question is do I have enough money to even participate in this launch how much money can we afford to invest in this launch are we gonna be able to make that money back and it was just a lot of like management and juggling and, and things and with Epiphany we're able to present the prints to our customers and our customers place their order and on launch night we go get it for them we don't have to and then we get paid the commissions on it we don't have to deal with all the you know and and they also give us a lot of heads up on what's coming we know at least 12 days in advance what's coming in 12 days if not earlier we know a lot we we kind of have an outline so we know what things are coming but we may not know exact exactly the date so i really like that too um another thing that i personally loved about epiphany that really made me want to be like holly we need to do this is with LuLaRoe, Holly and I sold a lot of clothes with LuLaRoe. And when you're carrying inventory in your house and you sell that inventory, Holly and I personally, our business is probably 99% on Facebook or on online sales. 
And when you're selling on Facebook and you carry a lot of inventory and you sell a lot of your inventory, well, what do you have to do with it? You have to ship it. And Holly and I would spend hours, hours, hours. shipping. Both of us would spend hours shipping clothes pretty much every day. And then we'd have to go to the post office or our husbands would have to go to the post office every day. I mean, we were going to the post office every day. We were shipping for hours every day. We were spending a lot of money on shipping because you have to buy your first class mailers. You have to buy the postage. You have to buy cutesy cards and stuff to put in your mailers. <laughs> and a lot of times we would offer free shipping to our customers as like an incentive to buy. Well, when you offer free shipping, nothing in life is free. It's free to the customer, but it's not free to us. So then you're having to pay for Cust the shipping. Yeah. Cutting to your profit. And so shipping was just like almost a full-time job aside from selling the actual clothes. But with Piffany, they ship it for you. And, and not only oh yeah, don't do forget. they ship it for you, <laughs> and. but it's free for your customers. Your customers always pay zero dollars for shipping. And so that was a huge perk for our customers because the prices are pretty reasonable, comparable to LuLaRoe, even a little bit cheaper than LuLaRoe. And they're also not getting that extra shipping fee tacked on top. Mm -hmm. And so that was amazing. And I was just like, you mean I don't have to ship all day every day? And we still ship some pieces in our sample program, which is a, but that's like 10 pieces a week, which we used to do 10 pieces an hour, like selling, like, I mean, that's nothing compared to what we used to do. And so that was another thing that when I saw the difference, I was like, sign me up. Yeah. So those are just a few. Do you have any other, like? off the top of your head things that no that, but i'll say the last thing okay before we end the video but you go ahead and finish up about i was just gonna say like is there things like is, that. well i was just gonna say like is there anything else that like you think we should tell people about our switch from lula road epiphany i will say that we have never regretted it we've never regretted being with lula row either though I no mean, we, we never regretted being with lula no, we loved it company. it was a they great, great company yeah. it did amazing things for us it made it so that holly could finish her master's we were both able to quit our full-time jobs it was amazing for us, but we've never gone to Piffany. We've never since we've been with Piffany, we've never had a day where we've said we wish we hadn't. Man, I wish I, I, I we hadn't have done this. We've <laughs> never said that. We've always been like, this is amazing. We love it. It's great. It's wonderful. Um, we just we love it. And I will say that we've been able to maintain our sale level, our selling level from Lularoe in the switch, and so that has been really nice. Our customers switched over almost seamlessly. Um, it's just been a really great transition for us, and we're, we are both thrilled that we made the switch. Yeah. So I was going to say last, um, one of the things that people often say to me or said to us with when we were with the LaRoe and then now that we're with Epiphany is just a lot of times the thing that prevents people from enrolling is the, the cost, like how much is it going to cost me out of pocket to join this type of thing. Um, the cool thing about Epiphany is um, you don't have to buy into any inventory when you onboard really um, – there's, uh, we do recommend gaining a small collection of clothing because it's very, very difficult to sell clothes that you don't own. And so if you're not excited about the clothes, it's really, really hard to get your customers excited about the clothes. So we highly recommend, um, there's two different um, enrolling packages. There's a $99 technology fee, um, and that's annual. And so um, that's the initial fee that you pay to enroll, which is really awesome because um, that's a really, really great price. It gives you access to back office. It, it's what gives, um, it's what how Epiphany ships for you, right? Like I'd they, they run the whole warehouse and do all the I shipping. I would pay anyone $99 a year to ship my stuff for me. Like, <laughs> it's amazing. I'd pay you $99 But then there's a, a, there's a option. This is strictly optional. How, however, Heather and I highly recommend it unless you're someone who already has a big collection of Epiphany clothing. Um, is uh, they offer you, uh, you can get a $250 coupon to purchase some clothes after you uh, enroll, um, but it only costs $200. So that second option ups it to $299, but you are able to purchase, I, I mean, I would say you could probably get 10 to 15 items for that $250 value. There's a few people who have made a list of the pieces that you should order with that, and most of them are 15 pieces. It's yeah. about 15 for a... 
and that gets you samples to try on model for your new I mean these are like clothes for you like to have to model and things like that so um, those are the two options for enrolling um, so it's really really cost-effective plus it's not like you're um, putting in money for nothing because you can get some new clothes out of it too um, and so we actually have a epiphany interest group um, via our team on Facebook and I, are we sharing it in this video? Yeah, so it's called Changing Lives Through Fashion. We'll put the link in the description if you want to check it out. When you click the link, it's going to ask you some questions before you join. One of the questions is going to be who referred you to this group? And so in that spot, you could just put Heather and Holly or you could put the twins. People know us by both. <laughs> um, and so if you, you can join there and it's a great group just to ask questions, to see you know what people are saying about it and then every tuesday night there's also an opportunity call with someone from our team who goes live and kind of shares their story and is there to answer any questions that you may have also we're going to put the link to our personal shopping group in the description in case you want to come join us there to see what epiphany is all about and you can also once you join our group you'll see both of us were obviously active in that group you're welcome to click one of our names and send us a personal message we're also going to put our email address in the description in case you want to shoot us an email with some questions about the epiphany opportunity yeah. as well yeah yeah so <laughs> We don't regret this decision a bit. We don't think you will either, and we'd love to help answer well, any questions. Well, I love what you said uh, at our last opportunity call about taking a chance. Oh, I you said... share it here because okay. I loved it, guys. We were about She's to wrap up, wise. but now we're not. So Just say it to wrap it up. <laughs> well, I was going to kind of give the back story first. Okay. So I mentioned earlier that Holly signed up for LuLaRoe in February and I didn't join her until April. And that's because honestly, I chickened out. I was afraid that I wouldn't have the time. I was afraid I wouldn't be good at it. I was afraid it was too big of a risk and I chickened out. And then once Holly started getting her clothes in, I was like, what did I do? Why am I not doing this with her? I'm doing it with her anyway. Why did I not make this official? <laughs> And it just really taught me that you're worth it. You're worth taking a risk on. You're worth investing in yourself. And you're worth trying something that you feel like you might be passionate about. You're worth it. You're worth taking the risk. Epiphany is pretty risk-free since it's such a cheap onboarding fee. Um, and so you're worth the risk. And we'd love to talk to you, answer your questions if you're considering taking that leap. So if you like this video, we hope you hit the like <laughs> button. If you want to see more of our videos, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to grow your own beautiful. Beautiful.